how to make chocolate covered apples. So first you wash the apples and then you wipe them down with a napkin. Then you stab them with um, something that will hold it. I use chopsticks. And then uh, while you're doing that, you can first put the chocolate in so it can melt. Because it's going to take a while. It's going to take about 5 or 10 minutes to melt around there. And then you want to keep on stirring so it get very thin and loose. That way it will be like a thin coat on, your, uh, on the apples. And it gets thick very fast. Like it dries up very fast. So you have to keep on stirring it and then so now since I did, did that I'm going to demonstrate on if I'm using two hands I'll tilt the pot to a side so it could be easier to get a, a deeper dip. See so I'm going to do it right now. Like so You see how there are lumps is because the jo the chocolate is already getting um, cooled down, so it's starting to dry. But I normally have it on low, setting at three, two, three, like the max, because I don't want the chocolate to burn. So normally I would twirl it around so it can cool off for a little bit and get those drips out of the way. And once those strips and those lumps go away you'll see a few on the bottom and then I'll place it onto the foil and normally I would do three at a time because um, you don't want to dip it into the topping right away because as you can see the, the, the chocolate will fall off and it, the topping wouldn't stick onto the chocolate very well so I think this is good enough you know I got most of the drips out and this one I did earlier and it's starting to dry so it should be safe now to do it into the topping so I just move it around in a circle twirl it but since I don't have any more of this topping I want to use coconut which is one of my favorite actually it's very good. I like it more than the peanuts. And there you go, there you have it. So, and then as this one is cooling off, I'm just gonna go ahead, these two are cooling off. This one's gonna be the next one. I'm gonna go ahead and do another apple and then once I place it down, I'm going to pick this one up and do the same routine with the toppings. And when I notice when I open up the package for the coconut, they're all stuck together. So I just simply took my hands and, you know, make sure they were spreadly, like individual. They're not stuck clumped together. And that's pretty much how you do it. It's very simple. This is actually my first time doing it. So it's... Turning out pretty good. Okay, thanks.